Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Jungle City here in RimWorld, where we have uh, we've just su survived some crazy animals, and a poison ship has been destroyed. So we have a whole bunch of mechanoids to disassemble. That'll give us some more plasteel and steel. Uh, I need to get someone on that like right away. Thankfully, we have two people who finally come back from the hospital, Mister Shlomo One Two Two and Mr. Neilster96 have overcome their sleeping sickness disease to rejoin the populace. Neilster now has a joy wire, so does Red World, so that they won't panic and kill each other any anymore. Shlomo still needs a joy wire because of his abrasive nature. He keeps pissing everyone off, but with a joy wire, he'll do that a lot less. And uh, what else do we need? Let me go through our medical needs real quick, because we do have a little bit of silver. Let's see. Right little toe, don't care. Dun, 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 dun. We need a new arm for Neilster, because he's currently down to 86 manipulation efficiency. He lost one of his thumbs. We need a new leg for Dryish, so we need an arm and a leg. And it looks like... and an eye. And an arm, a leg, and an eye. Okay. There we go. Well, keep your eyes peeled for an arm, a leg, and an eye. Now, this episode, I would like to start building some indoor turrets in our inventory rooms because we keep getting... We're, we're always under this constant risk of a drop in attack at our orbital trade beacons. And we just had one with a bunch of mechs, these guys, and thankfully we killed them. We only lost one colonist, Shen, of course. But thankfully, we killed the, the stupid attackers. So why don't we get ourselves some type of defenses in here? Something to uh, protect ourselves from the next drop in attack. Because you know it's going to happen, right? You know we're going to get another drop in attack. So this room will now have, let's see, 8, 10, 11, 12. This room will now have 12 turrets. I'll put them all on a switch. I wonder where I can put the power that'll be useful here. I don't know. It's going to be a bit tricky to run the power because we want the power on a switch. Probably put the switch. Um, Where to put the switch? You know, I don't know. Just run the power like this. I guess I'll put the switch in this corner over here. And the reason why I'm putting in these extra lines is for redundancy. In case one part of this explodes via grenades or whatever, then we'll at least have the other parts that we can just reattach the uh, remaining turrets to. Now, so the turrets don't damage each other, we're going to put limestone walls between them. Oh, I can't put a wall there. Um... I can make it a door. I wonder if a door will work there. Uh, yeah? I guess. Sort of like a wall. We just need to be able to walk between them, that's all. Yeah, these, these limestone walls will prevent them from damaging each other too much. Put another door over there. Alright, let's try that. And we'll do the same thing down here. We're going to have to move our plasteel deposit. I guess I'll put it in this room. No, this room's full of cloth. Uh, we need another inventory room. And that's what we're going to do over here. We're going to wall this off. You know, just go ahead and wall this off. Just wall it off. We have lots of limestone, so build with limestone. Wall. Oh, there's more steel here. Nice. No, not nice. Steel. Dig that out. Let's put in another auto door down here. Escape route. And another auto door right there. That will work. Build that wall. And once we've built that wall, we can make it a roofed area. Because right now it's designated as unroofed, right? Yeah, this is considered unroofed. That's fine. Exotic goods trader, huh? Well, if only I had something to sell you. Because you probably have a joy wire that I want to buy. Or a bionic leg, or a bionic eye, or a bionic arm that I all want to buy. But I don't think really have anything to sell to an exotic goods trader. Maybe we can sell some of the plasteel. No, that'd be the bulk goods trader. And the cloth? The cloth would be bulk goods as well. Well, 
Let's at least talk to the guy and see what he has to offer. We still haven't replaced this wall in the freezer because it's just such low priority. Yep, we can sell some clothes. That works. Sell a tinfoil hat. Oh man, still no husky to purchase. I was really hoping... He'd... Well, he's got the arm and the eye that I need. I need the eye more than the arm. But we can't afford it. Alright, get out of here. I need money, man. Alright, need to switch. Switch, baby. Failed to recruit wasp. Well, keep trying. Have we disassembled all this stuff? Yeah, almost. Still have to haul it all. Still have to haul all these guys, too. So who's on disassembling? Disassembling is considered crafting. We have a lot of people on disassembling. I'll just leave it be. This wall's getting in pretty quick. Very nice. Should probably run the power line through that wall now that there is a wall there. There you go. Less chance of the power line being destroyed. Let's see. Power conduit. Destroy it. There we go. And then disassemble the rest of the line. This is our power line coming from the generators down here, so we want it to be inside the wall rather than just exposed out here. Put your workbenches for clothing on, do until you have a few of them. Yeah, I guess. I guess. You know what sucks is this do until you have doesn't really work too well if they're low quality. Because what the way I have it set right now is the colonists the colonists will take off clothes if they're below 50% health so that they don't get that mood penalty for having worn out clothes. But when they take them off, that does not count. I mean, th that those clothes that have been discarded, they still count towards this do until you have three. So if they discard like an old duster or an old hat, It'll say, hey, that's that's part of our inventory, so I'm not going to build a new one. That's what sucks. I mean, granted, we can sell them every time uh, a trade, a, what's it called, an exotic goods guy comes by. We can still sell those clothes, um, the ones that are worn out. But it stinks that they still get counted as part of inventory. As far as, like, don't build because we already have enough of them. And on a clothes, you can't just disassemble them. You can't just get rid of them. I don't think you can bury them either. I mean, they're just there. Tato Man is smelting. Good. Block EB. Thanks for resubbing, man. Welcome back. Where do you see the money in this game? Uh, pilot, money is silver. So sil the number at the top left, 369, that's our money. Hey, we got Wasp on a 5% chance. Our 15th colonist. Very nice. Twitch chat, go ahead and, go ahead and raffle off Mr. Wasp. Mr. Wasp, what are you? Slowpoke, lazy, prostophile. Wow. Wow. Slowpoke and lazy. So he moves very slowly, and once he gets there, he does his job very slowly too. What a jerk. What a jerk. Oh, but he has double interest in tailoring. I will definitely put him on tailoring duty. He can help with that. He can go crafting as well. And he can do farming too. No hunting. Uh, no, no animal. No animal handling. All right, cool. So he's got some nice tasks. He can do mining on four. Okay. And construction repair on just minimum priority. Fantastic. Oh, look at this. Red World's actually happy. Holy shit. Thanks to the joy wire, Red World is now just happy. I like that.
Yep, it's raffle time. Let's get this power conduit built. I shouldn't have disassembled the other one until this was done. But I'll just make Teskey do it all night long. Because two of our generators are down here and they're not hooked up anymore. That's okay. That's what batteries are for. They'll last until morning. They'll last until we get this done. There we go. Eat your meal. Very good. And build. One tile at a time. I wish you could just designate an entire area and they'll keep constructing until they're done. It doesn't work that way. They'll construct one tile at a time. You have to manually pick every single little tile. How stupid is that? So much wasted movement with this, you know? Wasted movement, wasted time, wasted everything. Wasted clicks. Heaven forbid you waste a click. There we go. Are you hooked up now? Looks good. Good job, Teskey. Now you can go to bed. Now we can turn off the light in the prison here, because Wasp has been recruited. Let's see. Where is Wasp's bed? There you go. I'll turn on the light for you, Wasp. Ansada! Oh, man. Lave went berserk. Gosh darn it, Lave. And again, it's another hospital patient that's gone berserk. It's like... Why is, why are hospital patients unable to go out and get their joy needs met? It's so frustrating. All right, Wasp, you are now on SADA. Welcome back on SADA. And who wants to come in here and beat up Lave? I know who it is. It's going to be Red World. Go get him, Red World. Pow, pow. Red World's like, someone causing trouble? Bam. Bam. I wish I could zoom in even further. I want to see like an actual fist fight in this game. It doesn't exist. It's just sort of, they just sort of bump against each other. Oh, well. Good job, Red World. Okay, Dickhead is now ready to come back inside. Cool. How are you guys doing on your whole disease thing? Uh, 70%. All right, so maybe another two episodes and they'll be out of the freaking hospital finally. Getting our turrets in place. Nice, nice. Terrible mood, lave. Well, tough shit, dude. Tough shit. I can get rid of his cabin fever by forcing him to go outside. I'll do that. There you go. I mean, it's better than nothing. It improves his mood by 15, but it's not the best. I wish you didn't have to force them to go outside like that. But when they're in the hospital, they just don't do anything. But yeah, it would be great if you get a TV in here, which would keep their joy up. Or even a chess table or something. Just keep their joy up just a little bit. Meh, whatever. Ooh, alpaca. Hunt that shit. We haven't done hunting in a long time, have we? What else can we hunt around here? Who's our hunter right now? Is it still... Oh, Shen's dead. That's right. We have no hunter. Shen's dead. I don't want Goalie to do it. Maybe Lava? Maybe Neil? Potato Man. Let's put Potato Man on the task because he has um, careful shooting. So he'll get a lot of hunting done. 
We can hunt some boomalopes, sure. Nah, because they might trigger some cobras. If you, ex oh wow, there we go. If you explode a boomalope, you can uh, cause, oh, keep it bear as well. You can cause an explosion of uh, a snake. And if, you, if you damage a snake, then the nearby snakes will get pissed off and go manhunter. So it's better just to not hunt boomalope in the jungle here. Other biomes where you don't have cobras, hunt all the boomalope you want, but not here. All right, potato man, you gonna go hunt? I'm gonna eat food, go hunt. Now we're hunting, all right. I wish it was a follow, a follow option for the camera just to follow the selected colonist. Oh, wow, one shot, one kill, very nice. Very nice, potato man. Okay, wire this. Wait a minute, why aren't you connecting here? No, I don't want you to waste electricity. I want you to be connected to this wire, like this one is. Um, you know, it'd be nice if the reconnect option would let you pick which wire to reconnect to. Because look at this, it's only, let me go to the wires wires view there you go it's only going to this one it's not letting me connect to this wire even though the wire is right there it's not letting me connect to it wow that sucks hmm i guess what i could do is deconstruct the wire in this wall i don't want to do that why is it not letting me reconnect to here it's not letting me reconnect I thought it would toggle between all the different wires that are in range, but it doesn't do that. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna unwire this room. We'll see if that helps. So power conduit, deconstruct. This is a little bit tedious. Oops, didn't want to deconstruct the wall. Okay. That'll get rid of that wire. I guess now is a good time as any to replace the fridge wall so I can put the wire through that wall instead of this wall. Right there. We'll just go right down this wall. Um, it's 17 hours, so we'll do it in the morning, not right now. Yeah, get rid of that power line. That turns off all the electricity up here, which is annoying. Now, you know what? Just do this mining right now. Unwilling to wait. Unwilling to wait. Let's get everyone on the mining job. Put the wall back in. People are going to bed. That's not good. Get up. Mine. your work. Build the wall. I can't just let this sit because it's the freezer. I don't want the freezer to have any problems at all. So we're going to get this done tonight. No fucking around. No silly business. You do this now. Come back here.
Nah, -uh. no going to bed. There we go. That's good enough. This corner does not need to be there. It counts as a closed room even without that corner piece, which is weird, but it does. That's closed. So outdoors in this volcanic winter, outdoors is 60 degrees. If it gets any colder, we're going to have to put heaters inside. That's kind of weird. But that's volcanic winter for you, I guess. All right, now can we reconnect? There we go. There we go. There we go. Now they're connecting to the right place. There we go. There we go. There we go. So all the turrets are now connecting to the right area. But now this door doesn't have power. I mean, that's a low priority, but whatever. Okay, so now they're all connected to the right place. I can probably run my wire along this wall again. I'm just not going to do it because if we ever lose a turret or something, we're going to have to redo all of this anyway. Okay, looks good. All right, how are we doing on the prison? I mean, on the prison, the hospital. 74%. How are we doing on meats? We're doing good at hunting? Yeah, we have some alpaca in here. Nice. We need a bulk goods supplier to come by so we can sell all this human meat. We have so much human meat to sell. It's worth a lot of money. But it's not money yet. All right, this wall is in place. So we can turn this into a nice inventory area. We make a double inventory, maybe one here and one down there. We could do that. What would I use this for? I don't know. Nothing. Nah, I'll just do one big inventory. I would like to try something that I saw on Reddit, which is put an inventory here. And then we're going to put a uh, supporting wall next to it. Make this into a stockpile zone and we'll allow well, nothing yet. Just make it a zone. And then around this, we're going to put sandbags, like so. And then next to the sandbags, we're going to put turrets, like this. And we're going to make this into a kill zone for anything that might drop in. And if I had my druthers, I would go back and redo all of my inventories this way uh, so that we can actually make them, you know, decent at handling any type of attack. Right now, they're all pretty, you know, we can make them into rudimentary defensive areas. But for the most part, they're not going to be quite as good as they could be as far as handling any type of drop ins. But this room should be quite good at handling drop ins. And then we need a doorway somewhere. I guess we can put that right here. We're going to put walls between all the turrets. That way the turrets explosions won't hurt each other too much. If at all. And then the turrets will receive their power from this wall, which goes all the way around. that and make that a door 
make it a double door just in case the uh, enemies try to come through there. Works for me. Uh, do we need to wall this off? Not yet. But yeah, we'll make a little hallway here. Yeah, this is what I would like my inventories to look like. Just for the... Oh, exotic goods. We can sell... Worn out clothes? Eh, exotic goods. We don't need exotic goods. We need bulk goods, man. We can sell... No, no. Sell the tribal wear. No, 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 no. All this is good. Monkey hide button-down shirt. I like it. I, I want to buy this joy wire. But I can't. And he has no huskies for sale. Well, darn it. Neuro trainer. Inserted through the orbit of the eye and releases nanomachines into the subject's brain, quickly improving their skills in a specific area. Interesting. Hmm. Ah, there's nothing I want here. Get out of here. Sell the human leather pants? Um, yeah, because they probably have pretty good value, huh? Good idea. Anything made of human leather, we, we can make all of our clothes out of cloth. But since we have human leather, we're making some things out of human leather. Yeah, sell them. 240 bucks? Nice. Not enough for a joy wire, but it's better than nothing. Oh, mad animal. Who's this? A cobra has gone crazy. All right, we'll keep an eye on you, cobra. Cobra. We'll probably just lure him into some trap. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Turn the switch. And let's go send... I don't know, whoever's awake. Robzilla, get out of here. Butchering, huh? Stand outside, lure the cobra. That's right, cobra, here you go. And the cobra's dead. That was quick. <laughs> Died to a trap. Fails recruit 1%. Ah, oh, we'll get you. We'll get you, Mr. English. You need an arm, don't you? Yeah. Oh, man, he has a shattered sternum. Okay, maybe I don't want this guy. Area revealed. Oh, that's fine. Shattered sternum. Uh, what can we even do about that other than nothing? That just sounds bad. Shattered sternum. Hired goons. Yeah, this is kind of the layout that I would like for future inventories. It might be a little too big, like maybe we don't need this many turrets. Maybe we can sort of use the corners of the inventory space a little better. Because the inventory space is not square. These corners could be used for something else. Or we could just do um, like we did up here. We could use the corners for some other type of storage, like plasteel. Something that we're not going to be selling. We could shrink this by maybe one tile in, in every direction, which would make it significantly less resource heavy. Uh, because the, the outer edges of the inventory space maybe aren't that important. But yeah, this is kind of the idea, something that I would like to see, just to try it out, see how it works for a kill zone. Anyway, that's going to have to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Shen, you've been you. Come back next time, where maybe we can get beyond 15 colonists. I hope so. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.